Hello and welcome to more Paper Mario. What do you guys say we go ahead and finally beat chapter seven? Let's get right to it. So we're in this conundrum right here where we've got to find out which one's the real Cooper. And it is not a trick, guys. The Cooper that looks like Cooper is actually Cooper. So let's go and hit everyone else here. Ouch, that hurt. Still, good job. You must have some incredibly keen eyes to spot me. Yeah, there's the first Dupla Ghost. Darn it. Well, let's just go hit this guy, I guess. We're just gonna hit the old people first, why not? You must have some sort of sixth sense, Sonny. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Even though they're transformed into different characters, they kind of still act like those characters after we hit them. Even after we found that they're imposters. Hmm, Mario, well done! I don't know how you did it, but you found me out. I sure did. Goodbye. Yeah, get out of here. And we get to hit Luigi. Yay! Brother, I said I was the real Cooper so many times. So mean. And, just joking, I definitely thought I had you going there, though. I don't know what was up with that section, it was just so weird. Why would they... I don't know. I guess they're trying to trick you, but no, it's pretty straightforward. Yes, yes, good call, Mario. I knew you'd get it right. Those were the worst disguises ever. They actually were. Those were terrible disguises. I mean, the previous one that looked like Bombette, those actually looked like Bombette, but not this one. So here we've got a couple doors to choose from. Let's go take the bottom one here. And over here, we're going to have a star piece. So let's go get this. And the star piece is actually right beneath us right here. If Cooper would get off of it, that'd be great. And there we go. We got ourselves a star piece. Now let's go over to this side. And we have this statue, but we can't really push it because it's just way too large. So we'll just have to forget about that. All right, so this is a glass panel we can't go through, so we're just gonna have to go to the right here. And once we get over here, we've got a reflection in the back, but because we control both sides, you can see the switch is only on the back side, but we can still use this to hit it. So even though there's no switch on the true side, it still works out like that. So that'll spawn a bridge for us, we can go right across. And here we have another locked door and a way to get to the back side, so we don't have the key for that. So let's go back here and see if we can go find one. So let's go back to the left side here. And once we get to this area, let's go inside this door, because it is a little bit different. Now, this area is kind of mirrored. Once again, we're going to have a star piece, and once again, it's going to be in the same spot. So let's go ahead and grab another star piece here. And guys, this star piece is kind of a big deal, because we've got only five star pieces left in the game. And one of them is from this letter right here, and the other four are all from Chuck Quizmo. So as far as uh, star pieces we're going to find out in the wild, that's it. We are done. But you guys might have remembered on the other side, there is also a block. And there's one here, too. It's got a jam and jelly just a little bit hidden there. I guess we'll get rid of that maple syrup. I could have got rid of the full shroom as well. But over here, we've got another statue, but this one's a lot smaller. And you can kind of see the dirt indication right there. Kind of indicating that we can actually push that. So let's get it out the way and drop right down. And I managed to dodge the spring. Oh, yeah. Looks like we've got a battle right here. Oh, crud, yeah. Ooh, actually, I, I want to show this battle because you can see that in the back, there's a Magic Koopa that's actually flying. But if we want to take them down pretty easily, we can just go ahead and do multi-bounce. And it'll actually knock him right off of his room right there. So we can very easily follow it up with a fire shell. Of course, you could have used a different attack that would hit in the air anyways, but I think this is the best way to go because you can't actually hit him with Quake Hammer while they're flying. Maybe you could have done, like, a power bomb with Bombette, and that would have knocked him down, and then you could use Quake Hammer, but I figure you might as well just multi-bounce. So let's grab some coins, and let's keep going. Uh, I, I thought there was going to be another battle, but I guess not. But right up here, guys, we've got a chest, and inside we have the P-Up D-Down badge. This is the exact opposite of the one we got before, so it's going to increase attack and lower defense. Now, you could put on the ultimate combo, wear both of those two badges, and all it does is basically cancel each other out, because one does P up, one does P down, so they kind of act each other, it's a total waste of 4 BP. I probably will actually use the P up one, but the P down one I'm not a huge fan of. But guys, now we've got to backtrack, so let's go to the other side of the glass once again. Here we go, so now you might remember back that we pushed the small statue, and that made the big one over here move, so now we can drop down to this area as well, and let's go on through and see what we have on this side. So we've got another battle, let's go ahead and fight this guy. Here we go, we got him. I'm just gonna leave those coins behind, I'm really not gonna need them at all for the rest of the game. And once we go up to here, we have ourselves the palace key, so we can use that to unlock that door that we've been trying to open. So I'll meet you guys back at the door. Here we are, let's go ahead and unlock this door, and it might seem Seem like it matters which side you go into but it really doesn't because once we go through here there's actually no wall in between us so we can go back and forth through these two areas so right here we've got a little bit of a puzzle we once again have these statues and we can push them but we can only push the statues in the direction that they're facing and we have to get all the statues to go on top of one of these orange squares 
So the first one's going to be pretty easy right here. Let's just go ahead and push that guy right onto it. And you can see when we push it, it also pushes the albino dinos down here. So what's the trick to actually getting them to line up properly? Because some of these just aren't lined up. Well, we can actually talk to the dinos, and depending on where you talk to them from, they'll actually turn to face Mario, and that will turn the statues as well. So... Let's go ahead and do that. So now the statue's facing that way, and that means we can push it this way. And now we just have to get it over to the left to get it onto that orange. So let's go talk to him from the left side, and that'll get it to turn this way. So now that it's this way, we can go ahead and push it over. So that's pretty much the solution to this puzzle. We have to go do that with this one as well. We have to get it all the way over there. So let's go ahead and turn it this way. All right. And now that it's faced this way, we can go back and push it all the way over, and then we'll just have to turn it down and push it down onto there. We just have to very slowly, very slowly push this thing over. All right, there we go. So now let's go push, uh, go talk to the guy. Now you gotta keep in mind, they're kind of reversed. So to get the statue to face down, we have to talk to him from the top. So let's go talk to him from the top. That'll make him face upwards, which makes the statue face downwards. And there we go. So now we can go push it from the backside and that'll make it land directly on top of the orange square right there. And after we get that, a nice little jingle. And it's gonna make the wall open! And it'll build us a little staircase, and we can go right up inside that door now. So there we go, a fun little puzzle right there. I love puzzles like that, where you can you can kind of see your goal, you just have to figure out how to actually do it. But right here, guys, we've got ourselves a healing block and a save block. You know what that means, a boss is about to happen. So let me go adjust my badge setup, and we'll get to it. Alright, so here is my badge setup. We've got multi-bounce, we've got super jump charge, and D-down jump, because this guy's going to have a bit of defense. Quick change, which is pretty obvious, both power pluses, and we're even going to use P-up and D-down for some extra power. We've got plenty of health to spare, so I'm not worried about that. We've got all or nothing, as usual, and we also have the feeling fine badge. You might remember from a bit earlier, we used this to block some ice from one of the frost piranhas, and that'll work on the boss as well. Being that it's an ice area, the boss is going to have some ice stuff, so we want that to block it. So with that badge setup, I guess I'll drop down another Let's say for some reason, and let's go get to it! Right through the door. We just have to go up this little area here, and I guess we'll start off with the Goombario. We've got a quick change, so, eh, whatever. Who comes to my palace? Um, it's me, Mario! Whoa! Uh-oh. Looks like a butthead! He's got- actually, he has no head. He's just some floating eyes and some clothing. Kind of a weirdo. I like to imagine that his eyes are just like little pieces of corn. Mario, you finally arrived! Um, yeah, right there, buddy. Your text is shaking a little bit. You can't tell me you're the Ice King and you're shivering. <laughs> I know you believe you can save the Star Spirit, but I'm afraid you. I won't let you. First, I shall defeat you. Then I shall present Bowser with an iced Mario gift. All right. Well, enough of the trash talk. Let's go get into the battle. And right at the start, you're going to see we have the Crystal King, which I, I guess is not technically the Ice King, but he's still Crystal. We've also got some Crystal Bits, so let's go tackle those first. This is a Crystal Bit. Basically, Crystal Bits are just pieces of the Crystal King. You can drop them with ease. Their max HP is 1, and they're only dangerous when the Crystal King spews them out. Their defense power is 0. These guys are pretty weak. They'll keep coming, though, until you've finally beaten the Crystal King. So we want to keep those guys under control. We don't want to be taking any damage from those guys. So the, the way I'm going to do that is multi-bounce. So if I can actually time this correctly, we'll take out all those guys and do some damage to the main guy. Now, you might have noticed we only did five damage to him, so he's going to have two defense points, but we'll tattle him just in case. And he's going to go and spawn some more crystal bits. That's all right, though. Let's go over to Gumbario and tattle on the Crystal King now. This is the Crystal King. He's one of Bowser's main guys. I don't know how he managed to take over this palace, but max HP is 70, attack power 6, and as, as we already figured out, defense power is 2. He'll attack you by summoning and launching crystal bits. The power of each attack is 4. The number of times he attacks equals the number of crystal bits he's deployed. He'll also try to freeze you whenever he can. When his HP gets low, he may try to divide and conquer. The power of this attack is 8. You can hurt him only by attacking his real body. If you don't know which one's the main body, you should attack all of them. Pretty brilliant, eh? So yeah, attacking the main body and all that, he's talking about specifically when he divides and conquers. Don't even worry about that for now. Let's just go do another most bounce to take these guys down. Because we can block his freeze with feeling fine, and we don't take a lot of damage because we're taking out all of the crystal bits, we're really not going to be too harmed right here. So we go ahead and block that. It does 6 damage because we have a defense down badge on, but not a huge deal. Let's go over to Watt right here, and we're actually going to use a turbo charge to give Mario some more power. Let's go ahead and see if we can time this properly. There we go, not too bad. And from there, let's just go back. We're going to use D down jump to avoid that two defense points he's got. And that'll do eight plus eight. Pretty good damage right there. Now, you might be wondering why we've got the super jump charge badge. And that'll probably come into play a little bit near the end. Basically, the boss could heal. So, 
Hopefully he doesn't do that, but let's go ahead and do another multi-bounce. Now, we could have also had a different party member take these out, I guess, but I'll just jump on him like this, and then we'll have Watt just go ahead and do an Electro Dash to attack him directly, get right through that defense. There we go. And, okay, he's going to try to freeze me again, but of course, even if I didn't block that, not a big deal. Let's do another D down. Get some big damage right now. Dropping him down to six, or 17. I don't know how I saw 16. Let's charge this up, and he'll probably do one of the things I was worried about right here. Once he gets low, he'll heal for 20. And that is why I've got the Super Jump Charge badge on, because he'll keep healing over and over. So, instead of worrying about that, let's just charge up a whole bunch and take him out in one go. We'll still have Watt do an attack right here, but I don't want to get him too low. Oh, crud, I let it go too soon. Oh, well, at least we're still blocking. I haven't taken too much damage right here. Let's just go ahead and charge up again. And I think what I'll do is I'll have Watt attack one more time, and then the next turn, Watt can charge up Mario and he can finish him off. I think he's charged up enough to take him out here. And it looks like, oh, okay, change of plans right here, guys. This is the divide and conquer that we're talking about. He can do it in the air or he can do it on the ground. This time he decides to do it in the air. So the way we're going to deal with this is just use an attack that hits the uh, hits enemies in the air and hits all enemies. We could do that with Bombette's uh, Mega Bomb. We could do it with Paracarry's Air Raid. Or we could do it with Lackey Lester's uh, Spiny Surge. We're just going to go ahead and use Paracarry here. So let's have him go ahead and do Air Raid. And I think this will knock him down low enough. We might be able to take him down with the D down jump from this point. So that is the real one in the back there. It's going to knock him down to 22. And let me see if we're charged up enough. I think we are. Yes, we're doing 26. All right, guys. And that's going to be it. The Crystal King is defeated. And with that, Chapter 7 is coming to an end. Oh, no. The last Star Spirit. King Bowser, forgive me. And off he goes. Exploding into some sparkles. All right. Oh, boy. We've got another little sparkle of our own right here. And that's going to be the last Star Spirit in the game, guys. We are so close to the end right now. This is awesome. Well, actually kind of not awesome. I wish the game was a bit longer. It's actually, it's got a pretty good length to it, but I'm just kind of sad we're getting so close to the end. But we've got to do it, guys. Let's go over, grab ourselves a card right here, and along with that is going to be... End of chapter! Oh yeah! Mario has saved the last star spirit, Kalmar, from the Crystal Palace at the edge of the world. Now, with the seven star spirits together, he has the power to challenge Bowser and the Star Rod. At last, it is time for Mario's showdown with Evil King Bowser. Can Mario rescue Princess Peach and recover the Star Rod, or will wishes forever go ungranted? Oh boy, we did it. And you know what, guys? We're going to go ahead and save and continue. There's not a whole lot to this last Peach segment right here, but let's get right into it. And you might notice the music. It's kind of lacking. There's no music there. Oh, okay. We got some sad music. Oh, Mario. I wonder what he's doing now. I wish I knew if I was helping him at all. Of course you are. Mario will be fine. You should be proud of your efforts. Mario knows all you've done. And don't you worry, princess. You'll be able to talk to him in person before long. <laughs> I hope you're right, Twink. Thanks for cheering me up. Let's go back to the room, shall we? And off we go. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. It's gonna be King Bowser here once again. Oh, Princess Peach, your cuddly old Bowser's here! Oh, gosh. And there goes Twink, hiding not very well behind a little curtain. Can't we have a friendly conversation for a change? Come on, let me see a smile. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, don't be such a pill. What, is, what does that even mean? A pill? I don't know. You're stuck with me for a long, long time, beautiful. You'd better get used to it. No! Mario is coming, Bowser, and you can't stop him. Grahaha! Oh, you poor silly girl. I'm invincible with the Star Rod, didn't you know? Mario's no match for me. He's history. Get over it. No! I just don't think she wants to get over it, guys. Your raunchiness. We have an emergency. Uh-oh. What's the emergency, Kamikoopa? Yeah, it better be important. I'm right in the middle of a friendly chat with the princess. Um, uh, Mario has now saved all of the star spirits. There is a chance he could come here using their power. We must make ourselves ready in case he shows up. What? Ah, Mario! Okay, listen. Kamikoopa, send everyone to their posts. We'll ambush him the second he enters my castle. Uh-oh. Princess Peach, why don't you come with me to watch? You can have a front row seat to see Mario get crushed. 
Hopefully, Twink will come and tell us about uh, the ambush. I mean, we already know about it, but Mario, he's gonna get ambushed, man. You, yeah, you, tie her up immediately. If she gets out of this time, heads will roll. Are you talking about decapitation? Holy crud, Bowser. No, please. You big Koopa, show some respect to the princess. Oh, Twink is mad right now. Look at him go. Holy crud, Twink. What is this whining little glittering thing? Confetti? Huh? God, buzz off. Oh, crud. Um, well, I guess Twink's now dead, so Twink is not going to be giving Mario any help from here. Take the princess now. Let's move. Oh, boy. Uh, she can kind of walk on her own. I mean, it's not like you tied up her legs. No! And off she goes, getting carried off as usual. I mean... Not having a rope on her before never really stopped her from running, uh, from being carried, so I don't know why they tied her up this time. My name is Kalmar, Mario. Well done. Thank you for coming. You have successfully rescued all of us star spirits. We are in your debt. We owe you $13 and a large pizza. Now, all that is left is for you to challenge Bowser. My power should help you. To bring back the Star Rod, to beat Bowser, to bring peace back to the Mushroom Kingdom, and to save Princess Peach. Can I borrow your mustache? I mean, I guess it's not as good as Mario's mustache, but I could go for two of them. Mario's star energy goes up to seven, the most we can ever get. Mario can now use up and away a new star spirit power. And what this ability will do, it can actually, yeah, it says it turns them into stars. More specifically, it turns them into star points. So it's kind of like the spook ability or the hurricane ability with Lackey Lester, but instead of just scaring them off, you also get star points along the way. But of course, it's not a 100% chance to work. Alrighty. Mario, you must make your way back to Shooting Star Summit. From Shooting Star Summit, we'll prepare the route to Star Haven! The name of this route is Starway! And once you travel to Starway, you'll finally reach Star Haven. Alrighty, dude. My only wish is for you to save this precious world. You can do it, Mario. Goodbye for now. So long. See you in another life. Or something. And with that, we're actually going to get dropped off right here, guys. Unless there's some trick I don't know about, I think we do have to walk all the way back to Toe Town on foot. So I guess we'll grab a heal block right here on our way back. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the Bump Attack Badge just to make the walk a little bit easier. And you know what? I think I'll also equip uh, the Speedy Spin just to make things go a little bit faster here. And let's make our way back. Ah, here we are back in Toad Town. But guys, we are going to wrap things up now. We'll come back and finish up the rest of the side quests in the entire game. We'll get the last remaining star pieces. We'll finally deliver... Oh. Uh, items will finally deliver this letter and do the huge chain letter that I've been saving all this time We'll get all the Chuck Quizmo stuff done. We'll do all of the remaining tasty recipes We'll get everything done and ready to go so we can head off to Star Haven. So I will see you guys next time Take care